The so interesting thing about you know, yeah. you. sorry, Joe. Okay, work like this. <laughs> <laughs>
here. This is going to come together pretty quickly. I'll chop that up real quick. And you can see how just how easy this would be. So really you can use this method with all types of different seafood? Most seafood, yes. Uh, you generally want to stick to white fish. Um, you definitely don't want to use a histamine fish like a uh, like a tuna or a swordfish because uh, especially leaving it in a bag uh, with time and temperature it could uh, cause a problem for your customers and uh, you don't want any customers having an allergic reaction. The funny thing about grouper initially it was not as popular as it is today. Um, up in the northeast region of the country uh, people even though they had it when they went on vacation to Florida it was not as popular as you would think. First couple of years we would only sell 100, 200 pounds uh, per week of filet to some of the restaurants. But as time went on, uh, the uh, product line evolved. Not only the whole filets we would sell, whole fish, but of course now in the portion form, uh, where we'll sell literally several thousand pounds a week to restaurants from New York to South to DC. Uh, groupers and some species of snapper are caught by bottom long lining, and this is a singular long, hence the name, uh, piece of monofilament, or in, this, or in the case of bottom long line, cable, that uh, the fishermen attach uh, ganchions with shorter lengths of hooks laying off of them, and they may lay this for several hundred yards to several miles along the bottom. In this way, they're able to target the species and minimize any type of bycatch. Not only that, uh, by uh, dictating the hook size, they can uh, predetermine what size fish they can catch. So depending on where they lay their gear, um, it'll target the different types of species. Eight to 12 hours, they'll leave the, the gear in the water so that when they haul the gear back and retrieve the captured fish, generally speaking, they're still alive, therefore ensuring not only the quality of the product, but the food safety as well, and make sure that we get and capture and bring to you the uh, highest quality tasting fish available. What else do you want to know about grouper? Now that I have this butter melted down here, I'm just going to put my squash in the pan, and we're going to reheat it in the butter. Break down the additional. And I'm going to season this up with some thyme. And just another touch of salt and pepper. Remember this has already been seasoned on the outside once. So I'm going to put this on a lower heat back here. Keep that nice and warm. Get the envelope from my pot. And I'm going to remove this cooked grouper from the bath here. So what else are you going to do to prepare this fish since you already cooked it? So as you can see, the, the shrimp and the fish are cooked. They're nicely cooked. Right at 140 degrees, which is what we're looking for. Um, so I'm going to take this juice that's in the bag here. I'm going to add it into the pan, and we're going to create a sauce out of this. Wow. I just want to take the excess juice there. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to turn my heat off on the spaghetti squash. That's just about perfect there. You can see it's nice and heated up. I'm going to put potatoes one more time. They still need a minute or two. Now that this is up to a boil, This is my shrimp stock, the seasoned up shrimp stock that I had in my um, bag. I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream. I'm going to swirl that around. Again, just a touch of salt and pepper, very little salt, more pepper. And we're going to swirl in some butter as well. As our sauce is coming down here, I do want to swirl it up a little bit. I'm just going to take our 
spaghetti squash and lay it in the center of the plate. Lower the heat on that just a touch. I'm going to remove my fish and shrimp from the bag. Being very careful to move this fish as it will fall apart on it if you are not careful. Set it right on top. I'm going to take my shrimp, they're nice and warm, and set those kind of off to the side and build them up here. Nice. Thank you. Excuse me one second. So I just want to get right to a plate here. some potatoes that were nice and crispy fried here. We're just going to season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper. See our sauce is just about ready to go here. Stick it up nicely. At this point, is put my potatoes around. I only need a few. I'm looking for that nice crispy flavor to offset the uh, spaghetti squash and this creamy sauce that we have. I'm just going somewhat around the plate here. We have this beautiful sauce that I made with the uh, reduced shrimp stock and a little bit of heavy cream and butter here. That goes nicely with this dish. We have all the flavors from the shrimp and the grouper right in with this sauce. Sauce this up nicely. Again, check to make sure that we've got everything nice and clear here. I'm just going to finish this with a little bit of parsley for color. <laughs> All right, cat. Dip the potato. Dipping. Dipping. All right, eat the potato. This is how you direct food photography. <laughs> <laughs>